If you're thinking about upgrading your camera from a webcam and you hear people talk about clean HDMI out and you're thinking, yeah, what the heck is that? Well, you see all the stuff on the screen right now. I'll show you how to take all of that off using something called clean HDMI. In fact, here, let me, let me get rid of it right now. You ready? Here we go. There, there we go. Now it wasn't magic, it was actually just a setting in the camera that I will show you. So Clean HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. It's turning your DSLR or your mirrorless camera or even an iPhone into basically a high powered webcam. You can take your really cool camera and get a higher quality video than a webcam, and especially like a built-in camera on your laptop will give you, and it's really easy to do. So to be able to use clean HDMI, your camera has to be able to have clean HDMI out. Like the Canon M50 does not have clean HDMI out. There's a way to do it, but you lose the autofocus and things like that. That's why I upgraded to the Canon M50 Mark II, because it has clean HDMI out. The camera I'm using here is the M6, the Canon M6 Mark II, because it has clean HDMI out. There's a lot of cameras on any brand that has it and some don't. So just make sure the camera, if that's what you're interested in, that's what you're looking for, says that it has a clean HDMI out signal. Now to connect your camera to your computer to use as a webcam, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need an HDMI cable and they make them in different lengths and different, different types. So you, you wanna really research to make sure it has the same type of fitting that goes into your camera. And you'll also need what's called a video capture device or a video capture card. The most popular one is the one I use is the Elgato Cam Link. It's so simple, you just plug it into your computer and you plug the cable into that and then it works. It does need power. I found that out the hard way. The first time I ever used it, I plugged it into a non-powered USB port and it wouldn't see it. So if you buy one and it doesn't work, make sure the USB port you're plugging it into has power. Now Rode has come out with something called the Rode Streamer X, which is a video and audio interface. So again, you would connect your camera and, and mic to it, and it serves kind of the purpose of two things into one. So that's another option. It's a little bit more, but that's another option. Now, if you wanna do multiple cameras, or maybe like your camera and your iPhone, you might wanna look at like an HDMI switcher. Blackmagic makes one called the ATEM. I have an ATEM Mini, there's an ATEM Mini Pro. There's, there's several of them, and, and basically, Basically, it just gives you more inputs. On the one I have, you can plug four HDMI cables in and it gives you buttons you can switch between. It only shows up on your computer as one device that can handle multiple cameras. So when you have this hooked up and you choose the program you're gonna to use to record or live stream, whether it's Ecamm or StreamYard or OBS or whatever it is, the name of the device is now what will show up as your camera. So for example, since I'm using the Elgato Cam Link, when I go to camera, that's what it's gonna show up as. So don't let that throw you. If you're looking for your, your Canon M50 Mark II and you don't see it, it's always gonna be the name of your capture card that shows up as your camera. Now, some cameras, including Canon, have come up with a way to use a USB cable instead of an HDMI out cable. And it's obviously cheaper to do that, even though I think Canon has gone to now a subscription model. Eh. I don't know about Sony and the other ones. I do know that some of them though, allow you just to plug that in. You don't need a capture card. It's, it's still taking away everything off the screen that you would normally see. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think with a clean HDMI out signal and the capture cards we were talking about, the video is gonna be a lot better. Let me show you how to set it on your camera. And again, I'm gonna use the M6 Mark II and walk you through the menu. Typically, when you get a brand new camera, it's not gonna be set for a clean HDMI out. So here's how you find them. Again, on most Canons, this is the M6 Mark II. You see the little uh, camera icon at the top. You have six tabs. We're gonna go all the way over to number five and it says HDMI info display, and it's on. With info means everything that you see on the screen, like right now, will be on the screen. If we want it off, we're gonna go down to clean FHD output. And it tells you right there, it also turns off the wireless and other things. So like with this Canon camera, I can't record in camera 
and use this feature, but that's okay because I'm usually using some video recording program. I wanna hit set. And so you see there's nothing on the screen, but just to show you the difference, let me show you with and without. So this is what it looks like with information. You get all of this on the screen. So if you don't want any of this on the screen, which will look a lot better, then you change it back to clean HDMI out feed. Now you also have the option of 4K. I've had issues with that on the autofocus on these, so I just always go here. I'm still recording in 4K, so I'm getting that 4K crispness without anything on the screen. 